Okay, and then Spark Blocks installation pack. And when we install this Spark Blocks pack, note that use socket where is magnetic inside magnet because it keeps this spark plug in like place and and it is really critical that when we install this spark plug carefully in this hole that do not drop this spark plug in there because otherwise this nose this head this can damage and then we have those engine running problems okay and that that is this is the way now there is this magnet in inside in here this is specific socket for spark plug and now i carefully install this my spark plug in this hole and then i can rotate that in my hands or if we have this electric driver now carefully this start is carefully job and now when it stops I take this my electric driver away and then we take this reins and when we use this reins this is quite okay we can change these spark plugs using this reins but we have to be careful that this is small wrench because if we tight and rotate this spark block too much it can damage and go totally broken and it is then really bad situation and that's we should to use torch wrench tool because this force is 20 newton meters or something like 15 one wife LPF this force like 20 newton meters and it is possible to get when I use one hand only in here and then in this way now there's about 20 but let's check when we have we can loan or purchase this uh, this torch friends tool what like in I I have in here this digital and now when I move that that my tool it says sound when force is okay you can see in this my tool that there is this digital amount Newton meters and when there is this sound Now, now, now I have a little bit more this force in there. It is about 30, and that's I have to release a little bit this my my spark plug in that way, and I repeat that. And let's check again. Okay, and now there is 20 in here and we look that amount and this means that when there is 20 this is this is just great amount of this force 20 newton meters okay in here and now we can be sure that this spark plug is fine okay and then when we install this ignition coil back there is Similar thing that I installed this carefully in here and then when I install this nut in here there is force what is 10 to 15 15 newton meters now I rotate that in here and we can look that closer and this nuts force is 10 to 14 to 15 newton meters and let's check using my 
Thoughts Friends tool This is this amount and when we use this Thoughts Friends tool then we don't broke these nuts and bolts and now we can see that how much this force is now we can see that there is digital meter now there is like 11 13 and 14 14 is like maximum amount and let's look closer the good force for that ignition coil nut is about 10 to 15 these newton meters Newton meters. Now there's 15 just in here. Great. And now we have just excellent amount of force in this ignition coil. And I can remove this my tool. And next I can install this connector. And next I install this connector. And this connector goes nicely when I take two fingers and then it goes only one way in there and then I have to press this my connector so long that we hear click sound click listen okay now now there is no any click sound but now it's fine when we look that this inner central area is deep and this connector works when I try to take this out and pull out, but it is not possible. Then it's like locked. And this locked is important. Okay, and now this coil is back. This was this idea. Thank you.